days later. Yo guys, how's it going? AK Motor here. The day has finally come, and today we are gonna be putting an FMF on the 250 right over there. Now I went riding earlier today, and I still gotta unload the bike and get it all washed up, so we're gonna have to do that real quick. Um, but here, as you guys can see, I got the silencer right over here. I actually got this in a couple days ago. I already went in and unboxed it, and uh, just kinda looked over the whole thing, make sure everything was all good to go, make sure all the craftsmanship and everything looked good. Um, and everything does look pretty good, you know, about what I'd expect for a pretty pretty expensive pipe. But everything looks good. As you guys can see, I got the uh, tie silencer here. And I actually had, the, had to order the silencer and the header or the mid pipe separately uh, because these have just been really, really, really hard to come by. I've had to order in for a while now and I finally found a place that actually had these. And they only had them in stock for like a day, so I was really, really quick to snag it. So we have the silencer right over here. It's pretty much good to go besides all my fingerprints because I've been messing with it. And then right over here, a couple of minutes ago actually, we just got this box dropped off. This is hopefully our header or our mid pipe. So we're gonna get that all unboxed and take a look. So we went with the full titanium system. So we got the tie uh, header pipe and then we have the tie silencer right over here. Uh, definitely pretty trick looking. So. Uh, yeah, here, let's get that mid pipe right over there, unboxed, take a look at that, and uh, also gotta get the bike unloaded. All right guys, so we have the bike all washed up as you can see, it's nice and clean. Fresh air filter, we cleaned and lubricated the chain, adjusted it, tightened it a little bit. And uh, yeah, everything's all good to go. Unfortunately, my pressure washer died there for the, uh, towards the end, so I had to hose it down for the final rinse. But anyway, we're all good to go. So here I'm gonna get the bike all started up. We'll get our little before sound clip with our stock exhaust system so we can get a little comparison going here at the end once we have our FMF installed. Uh, so let's fire this thing up and get a little before sound of the stock pipe. Alright guys, so there is our little sound clip all done and good to go. So now we're going to remove our OEM exhaust system. Basically we're going to start from the back and work our way towards the motor. So we're going to take off this little side panel, we're going to take off the sock silencer, and then we're going to start undoing the uh, header pipes as we get kind of closer to the engine here. So first let's rip off our stock silencer. Uh, we just have to remove this number plate here.
All right, now that we have the side number plate panel off here, we can remove one bolt up here, one bolt right down here, and then one 10 millimeter clamp bolt further down the pipe. All right, to remove our next section of exhaust piping here, we have one little 10 mil bolt with this clamp or kind of right next to this clamp we're gonna remove. And then another one right over here. All right guys, so the last two bolts to remove our stock exhaust are these two right here, these two 10 millimeter nuts on the exhaust side of our cylinder head. Uh, now you're gonna wanna use a swivel extension or a swivel stock. I'll put a little uh, picture on the screen of what they look like. Uh, I believe they're called swivel adapters. Uh, I don't know, they have a couple of names, but you're gonna wanna use one of these and uh, that'll make getting to these really, really easy without having to take off the shock or anything like that. And you're also gonna wanna use a couple extensions as well. So it's just a simple swivel adapter. And now we can just pull that right off. And then right in here, you guys can probably see right on the edge there is a copper crush gasket. Uh, you can probably reuse this, but here I'm just gonna be replacing mine. It was cheap enough to get anyway. So I'm just gonna pull that out here with a little 90 degree pick, just like that. So here I've gotten the stock muffler all the way off and then we have some of our FMF parts sitting out here. Uh, now here, real quick, I'm gonna remove this little rubber grommet and put it on our new FMF system. Anyone who's installed a get, or anyone who's installed exhaust systems knows uh, those little rubber grommets can be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but here I'm just gonna quickly get that done. To my surprise, that little grommet actually went in really easy. It took like two minutes. Um, normally you have to fight at them with screwdrivers and pliers and stuff, but that one was actually pretty easy. I guess because the hole to fit the grommet into is actually pretty big. Uh, so that wasn't hard at all. Now we're basically just gonna do the reverse of what we did, taking the exhaust off, putting it back on. Uh, so we're first gonna start with the portion of exhaust over here closer to the cylinder and work our way back. Again, just doing the reverse of what we did to remove the system. Uh, now here real quick, I'm gonna throw the silencer and some of the other parts if I can onto this little scale. And let's see if we can get some measurable weight differences between the two, because I can tell you guys, just holding them, the FMF is significantly lighter. Uh, not that it's a big deal or anything, but let's see if I can get it to pick up on the scale. All right guys, so I have the stock system on our scale here, but unfortunately this scale isn't really wanting to give us any readings that are gonna be of any value. Uh, so you guys are just gonna have to take my word for it. The stock system definitely is a little bit heavier than the Thai FMF one. Especially the silencer, I think 90% of the weight savings are definitely gonna be in the silencer alone. I mean, just to show you guys here real quick. This is definitely a pretty pretty heavy silencer. It has some pretty good weight to it. Versus the FMF, which is just like super, super light. I know this isn't the greatest demonstration. Uh, that's all I got, but yeah. You guys are just gonna have to take my word for it. Definitely a little bit of weight savings going on here. All right, guys, so as I said earlier, you could totally reuse this stock little copper exhaust gasket in most cases, but while I was ordering the exhaust, I just threw a new one of these in my cart. They're not very extensive, um, but here it has a rounded side and a flat side. The flat side will face out. So this will just go right into place, just like that. Kind of holds itself in place. Now we're just gonna slip on our beautiful new FMF header. Here, as you guys can see, I got some new little mounting nuts. Again, just really something really cheap I added to the car while ordering the exhaust. Uh, now these I'm literally just leaving hand tight. You wanna make sure they're nice and even. Um, but here I'm just leaving them hand tight. Uh, we're basically gonna install everything, silencer, head pipes, everything, and then we're gonna go in and snug everything down once we have everything snug in place. But here, again, I just have these two bolts pretty much hand tight, not really gonna use a tool to tighten them down just yet. Next, we're gonna install the section of pipe that goes kind of around the front of the motor.
All right, guys, so we have pretty much all the header piping just kind of snug on there. Uh, just plenty of little wiggle room, so when we get the silencer on and snug everything down, it can rest in its final spot. Um, but anyway, yeah, this titanium does look pretty trick, guys, I gotta say. Now, you'll notice I didn't put any silicone sealant, high temp sealant, because uh, this bike's actually right around 45 hours, and I'm planning to do a top end at 50. Uh, so I'm probably going to be removing this system somewhat soon anyway. Uh, so that's why I'm not putting any silicone sealant on there. Uh, you can if you want. The instructions kind of suggest that you do add some sealant and you can add some sealant. It'll probably improve the seal. But here, because I'm going to have to remove this system in not too many hours, I'm not going to worry about it here. Uh, so let's get our silencer on now that we have all this piping on. Just kind of loosely in place. Um, and then we'll go through and tighten, and ev tighten everything down once we have everything in place. Here you guys can also see I'm ditching the heat shield over here because it looks like this one isn't really going to be easy to take off. It's using like stapleless clamps, I think these are called. Uh, yeah, we'd have to cut them off and I'm not too worried about it because anytime I'm riding this bike I'm wearing riding pants. So uh, yeah, we are going to be ditching pretty much all the heat shields, but it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, not the end of the world, just something to note. Alright guys, now the part that we have all been waiting for, we're going to put the fresh silencer here onto the bike. Oh. Make sure we don't leave that little red cap that was in it from shipping. Should slip together pretty easily, there we go. And then because the rest of our exhaust system is pretty loose, we should be able to wiggle this around and get everything lined up. All right guys, so we have everything in place and lightly just seated, snugged down. One thing I quickly wanna mention, uh, if you're gonna be installing this on your 2021 YZ250F or on your bike, uh, make sure if you're having issues with things maybe not wanting to line up as well as they should be, make sure all these little couplers are completely seated and together. I was having an issue, <clears throat> I was having an issue uh, where I couldn't quite get some of these bolts to line up and it turns out this coupler just wasn't totally uh, all the way in snugged together. So uh, just make sure you give your exhaust a little wiggle and make sure everything is uh, as it should be. It shouldn't really have any issues lining everything up once everything is where it needs to be. But yeah, so everything is in place. Uh, snug now we're gonna actually start seating and tightening down some of these bolts uh, We're gonna start at the back of the cylinder head tighten those two nuts And then we're just gonna work our way forward through the exhaust system Here I have a heat shield on the silencer that FMF uh, Sells it's kind of like the ones that star racing Yamaha bikes run a little bit different, but pretty close um, same kind of concept, but yeah, uh, if you guys want to see how to install that if you're going to be buying one for your FMF exhaust system uh, Check out the top right of the screen and uh, click that little link and then you guys can see how to install this little heat shield This isn't something that you get with the exhaust systems. This is something you have to buy directly from FMF uh, Just thought I'd kind of put a little note in here If you're going to be running one of these if you buy one of these from FMF I have a video on how to install it top right of your screen here we're going to tighten down the two bolts for the silencer and we're pretty much done uh, hardware wise for this exhaust system. Alright guys, we have the whole exhaust system all mounted up and good to go. Now here before I put on the side panel, while we have access to the silencer and the rest of the exhaust piping, I'm going to go in with some isopropyl alcohol and some shop towels and just kind of clean off all the exhaust. Um, any fingerprints, any oils from my skin that may have gotten on the exhaust during assembly. So yeah, real quick, I'm gonna go in, wipe the whole system down with some isopropyl alcohol and uh, get all that nice and clean so we don't burn in any fingerprints or anything like that into the exhaust. Um, and then we're gonna put our side panel on and I'll tear this puppy run. Got everything nice and wiped down. I'm gonna reinstall my side number plate here and uh, we'll fire this thing up. Man, I'm really excited to hear this thing run. All right guys, so we got the exhaust system all installed, wiped down with some isopropyl alcohol. Got our number plate back on. As you guys can see, we eliminated this little plastic piece and have a little titanium guard right there. I like that look. Not a huge fan that they kind of supplied a little uh, little clamp. Kind of looks like a hose clamp, but honestly, you know, I, I guess that was the easiest way they determined to install it. Anyway, 
Yeah, look at that system, guys. Not gonna lie, this tie is looking pretty dang trick. Cool looking exhaust is one thing, but let's get this thing outside. Let's see how it sounds. All right, guys, first start with the fresh FMF full system, 4.1 titanium. Pretty excited. I do have the spark arrestor removed. Uh, let's get this thing fired up and see how it sounds. All right guys, there we go. And that is an FMF 4.1 titanium full system install on a 2021 Yamaha YZ250F. I'm definitely pretty pumped. It definitely has a throatier sound. Uh, definitely addresses a little bit of raspiness. Uh, honestly, the stock system wasn't too bad compared to past Yamahas, um, but still, I think it sounds just like a much deeper, much throatier tone. Sounds really, really, really sick. Also looks pretty cool. You know, the titanium is definitely a pretty cool look on a dirt bike, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of this FMF exhaust system in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.